Here at Fusion Contracting, we're serious about safety and have put together this video procedure to ensure the safe system of work during the process of changing heavy vehicle tyres. Keep in mind that here we only change tyres up to 600 millimetres or 24 inches in diameter. Before commencing any tyre changing work, ensure that you are wearing all your PPE, including safety glasses, ear protection and gloves. One thing to be mindful of when changing tyres on the side of the road up here in the Pilbara is to keep hydrated. Take a bottle of water with you to the work area. Keep the truck running with the air conditioner going. If you do feel the effects of the heat, sit inside the truck and catch your breath for a few minutes before recommencing changing the tyre. Step one is to ensure that the road train is parked on a flat and safe location. You can get yourself a couple of sets of these earplugs from the office or the workshop. These mechanic gloves are ideal for changing tyres as you've got maximum flexibility with plenty of protection. So you uh, get your wheel chocks, you place your chocks at the front of the wheel opposite the one that you want to jack up and another chock at the rear of the wheel and that ensures that the vehicle won't roll away. On our equipment with the 10 stud wheels we recommend that you crack the wheel nuts before you lift the axle. And the reason for that is they've been done up to 600 newton metres torque with one of these tension wrenches. And that's 442 foot pounds in the old scale. So out on the road, you're going to need a 1.2 metre bar exerting 50 pounds of force just to loosen that wheel nut. Alternatively, you can use one of these nutcrackers, which will undo it quite easily and we'll show you how now. One thing you'll notice about our torque multiplier is we've put a bit of red paint and a yellow sticker on it so it's uh, easily identified in the dark uh, because you still get flat tyres at night and um, when you're hunting around for your sockets, uh, the little yellow stickers really uh, make them stand out. Now, you need a 33mm socket to, for these 10 stud rims. You put the uh, socket on to the arm end. To loosen the nut, because we're going to turn it in any clockwise direction, we want the arm down here on the right hand side. You can actually see the speed difference from the handle to the socket. And that's how easy it is to loosen the wheel nuts off. Now for the fun bit of the job, get under the truck. Now that the wheel's raised in there, we're going to remove the wheel nuts. Now one thing to be mindful of when you're out on the side of the road is where you're going to put the wheel nuts as you remove them. Um, in this instance, we're going to put them up here on this guard because it's uh, nice and flat and they'll stay there and they're out of the dirt. If you can't fit them on your guards, get yourself a bit of rag, just place it on the ground out of the way and put all the wheel nuts there so they don't get covered in mud and dirt and grime. Makes them a lot easier to put back on. If you're fortunate enough to have one of these rattle guns in your truck, I make changing a tyre a breeze out on the field. So, as you can see, just rattle off the wheel. However, if you don't have a rattle gun, you can make a T-handle socket by sliding the handle of the wheel brace through the bar of the socket. Alternatively, get the little extension that they supply and uh, fits in and you can just crank it by hand. So to remove the wheel, you turn around with your back towards the wheel, get a good grip of the rim and lift it off. Once you've got it off, just turn him around, walk away like that. To get the inner wheel off, you just got to wriggle him back much the same fashion, like that. And just drag him out. And then you've taken the wheel off. Before you put the wheel on, just give the drum a quick wire brush. Make sure the surface is clean, make sure all the threads are clean just so that the nuts will do up nice and easily. And that ensures that the uh, wheel will fit flush up against the drum and the wheels will be running true. So to put the wheel back on, you roughly roll it into position and you try and get the stud holes to line up with the studs. 
Okay, so you just use the handle of your wheel brace as a lever to lever the wheel up. One thing that's worth doing is spraying a little bit of CRC between the flange and the nut. Just helps them spin up easier and helps you get the right torque. So we put all the wheel nuts on finger tight. Make sure that they are not cross threaded. So to tighten your wheels back up, you just crank the uh, nuts on like so. And because we're going to uh, wind it in a clockwise direction, we want the arm facing up. So again, just to tighten it up, just wind it around like that. And as you're winding it up, you can actually feel it start to tighten up. So you just uh, you can feel the pressure coming on, that's actually getting quite tied up against that nut there. It's really important that you do these wheel nuts up to 600 newton metres torque. We've got a torque wrench in the workshop, so if you do have, have a change of tyre out on the road, when you get back to the workshop, please use a torque wrench to check the tension of each nut.